So, um, I've kind of been slack with videos relating to my, uh, not that anyone cares, <laughs> relating to my online interweb course, uh, about particularly the assembly parts for the X Game Station, whatever you want to call it, course. Uh, I was doing, this, I was trying to learn the past week or so, uh, Nintendo Assembly, because I read this book by Alex Galloway, and there's some stuff about counter gaming and all that stuff, talking about Jody and Tori Archangel, and I got really interested in NES. I was trying to read some stuff about hacking, but then I was kind of, um, kind of, not really boring, but it just seemed like it was oriented towards, like, you know, adding English subtitles to Final Fantasy, or me making the character, you know, character palette funny or something, or character, whatever, you have to change to change the character, but, um, there's a tutorial set series by this guy, GBA guy, and I was reading it, and, uh, I got stuck in the part about displaying a background, but then I moved the code around to the infinite loop, it's after you set up, if you, if you're interested, it's after you set up the picture processing unit, and then after you, you load the palette, palette, and like, load the map, uh, in the infinite loop, for some reason it displays like this. I was trying to explain if starting over or like starting in an animated way. I don't know. It's actually interesting. Um, yeah. So I added some stuff to it. It uh, pulls, changes the value of how many how many times it goes through the palette loading loop, and when you press up or down, so you get this stuff. I don't know why. Which is good. A good feeling. Not knowing what's going on. It's actually nice because it's also pulling all the other buttons. So if you press sideways, this is sideways, you get some other stuff going on. I think you should get something like BRA. Yeah. So I kind of like this. Alright, bye.